So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt and today we're going to be looking at the Sony WF-1000XM trees. Before we begin this video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the videos which I post. Alright, so let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so I know this uh, is kind of a late video because these earbuds have been around for about seven to eight months by now and the reason i just got this is because of the flash sale on lazada so this is actually retailing now at around 629 ringgit but i got it for below 600 so it translates to about less than 150 us dollars so it's really good price if you compare earbuds that are around the same price like the anchor liberty 2 pros they're also around the same price but they do not have the same features as the wf 1000 xm trees of course they are more airport style like design but this is more towards like sound quality and stuff because you know sony really makes really really good headphones and that translates into their earbuds as well so i've had their noise cancellation headphones in the past and their performance has really outstanding but anyway i just sold my airpods so i had to get a replacement because i actually ordered the airpods pro but they are on back order so it's going to take some time and I need a replacement so that I could use it with both Android and iOS. I mean, I have the Huawei FreeBuds 3, but they only work on Android and they're especially integrated with Huawei's ecosystem and, and it doesn't really work well on other Android phones and especially iOS. No, no way. It's not going to really work. But this, as you can see on the top of the box, supports iPhone, iPod as well as Android devices. So these are all rounder. So this will probably be my go-to earbuds for the time being until my airpods pro arrive okay so i bet you have seen tons of uh, unboxings already so we're just going to quickly get into the unboxing i'll quickly tear the wrapper and all you can see this is a pretty new version of the earbuds because you can see there's google assistant and also alexa built in uh, previous versions only had the google assistant sticker right there so you can see it's a new add-on so it's a new batch you can see right here 6 hours plus 18 hours, 6 hours earbuds only with noise cancellation active. Of course, depending on the volume level you are playing with. And 18 hours with the charging case. So you can see wireless with noise cancellation. So I'm very excited about noise cancellation because the Huawei FreeBuds noise cancellation is basically a marketing gimmick. I mean, open back earphones don't really provide you with much noise cancellation after all. And the noise cancellation feature doesn't work well. Okay, so you can see it's still sealed. Right here, you can pause there and read it for yourself. You can see Sense Engine. Of course, there's an updated version. I think firmware 2.1.0, if not mistaken. Yeah, that's much better. So I'll definitely be updating it. Okay, so let me cut the seal. It's pretty hard to do from behind the camera. Go to the side. Okay, the seal is off. Okay, sliding it out. Very nice presentation. You can see right here. Start pairing. You can see the first step is to actually put the earbuds into the case to actually start them up and start charging so when you put in they start charging and then they power on as well and you can see the earbuds right here very nice uh, of course they are much bigger than the airpods but definitely considering the features packed into these earbuds i i don't mind actually the size i'm just afraid they will stick out too much but we'll try that on later see earbuds are out let's look at the charging case is it airpods quality mm, in terms of weight i still and weight and basically the construction i still like the airpods they feel more solid this feels a little bit more plasticky but anyway you can see labeled left and right color coded as well very nice you can see this uh, matte texture with a usb-c input for charging nice color i like this color in fact but I do have a silicone case because I heard the matte texture actually scratches up pretty easily. So what else do we have inside the box? Okay, we have extra steps right here. And let's see if I can take this out. So you can see there are six pairs of ear tips, different sizes of course. One side is sort of foam ear tips, but not comply foam. And then on the right side is uh, silicone buds. So very nice. I'll, I do love uh, foam tips because they fit snugly into the ear and will not cause ear fatigue for extended periods of listening. So I do like that. It's a good thing they included that. Actually, I was looking for comply foam, but 
uh, in Malaysia is pretty hard to find. You can see this short USB-C to USB-A cable. I have tons of them, so I don't think I really need those. Okay, here's some booklets. Am I in the right orientation? You can see Google Assistant right here. So pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's put all this into the box and at the side. Let's focus on the earbuds themselves. So I'm going to put them into the case. How do I open these? Okay, like this. So we will go with the right side first. You can see. Okay, very easy. You can see as soon as I put the earbuds in, you can see the right one has already powered on and the case also has powered on and now the left one. I've seen some reviewers units, they have had issues with the light. I'm not sure whether they noticed it, but one side of the light is like dimmer than the other. And I'm a person with like this kind of OCD issues and I really like lights to be balanced. So I think mine is like very good unit. So it's a good thing. Okay, you can see the NFC logo right here in the front. NFC logo. So if you have a NFC compatible device, you can just put it on and it will instantly pair. So very nice and easy pairing. Okay, Sony branding etched into the case right there. You can actually feel it. There's some texture to this. All right, so let's try to pair them up. So you have the Sony headphones app right here. I've already downloaded it so we can just open it. Let me check whether my Bluetooth is on. Yes, it is. So let's take this out of the case. Pretty hard to take out because I have large hands. So you can see the Bluetooth earbuds have powered up. You can see this flashing blue light. Okay, let's take a look. Next button. Okay, they already found my device, so it's pretty fast. Let me get the camera to focus again. Because they've already found my earbuds. So let's see. So I think this is it. I just have to tap it. Okay, so it's adding device now. Okay, so it actually appeared right here. So let me click on it. So it's probably pairing. So you can app not install. App store. Eh? Did I download the wrong one? Let's connect. Yeah, I have this. Okay. So it's right here. Set up. Next. Okay, adaptive sound control. It detects the environment. So it adjusts the noise cancellation depending on where you're at. So if you're in a busy place, you increase the noise cancellation. Of course, if you're on the street with cars, they will actually reduce the noise cancellation so you can actually hear your surroundings. It's for safety purposes. And if you're in a quiet room, they will reduce the noise cancellation. I mean, when it reduces, it also increases the battery life as well. So 360 reality audio right here. So let's do it next. And then let's go to the dashboard. So I bet there's already a software update. So yes, you can see right here, software update. So I'll update that right after this video. So you can see, it already detects that I'm actually in one position, but of course the earbuds on the table, so they're actually not moving. So there's actually an accelerometer so that it can detect whether you're moving or you're sitting or standing still. Yeah, that kind of thing. Very nice, there's an equalizer as well. So you can show the now playing. I hope this will actually show Spotify now playing. Not sure, but I will check that out later. So you can see pauses when headphones are taken off. Yes, definitely I would want that. Let's see, optimize apps, analyze your ship. I like I like this because it's similar to what the AirPods can do. So this actually analyzes your your ship and uh, sets all the EQ, the noise cancellation, and so on and so forth. So you can see ambient sound control. You now this is a touch sensor. I will recalibrate that later on so i'm really not sure how to do that right now so you can see notification voice guide and automatic download so, so it's very intuitive so let me pause this video and i'll be right back after i've tested the sound quality of these earbuds all right guys so i'm back and i actually tested out um a track with it so you can see right here i know it's a random song uh let me get this so you can see right here Spotify actually shows up on the now playing as well in the app. So it's pretty good. So, but of course I won't be actually using this app much except for the settings and probably checking battery percentage. You can see right here. This is actually the battery percentage of the earbuds. And the case you can actually show. Let's do that. So you can see the case at 70%. But for iOS, you can actually see it on the left panel. So you can see this is actually... 
the percentage I have. So I don't really need the app except for the settings. So overall, I am really impressed with the sound. However, in terms of sound stage, maybe I haven't really set this up properly. But however, for sound stage, I do really love the Freebuds 3. I mean, like the bass, everything for open back, it really blows me away. This, I have to calibrate my ear shape and stuff. And then probably I'll do a follow-up video. I'm not very sure about that. But anyways, very nice and balanced sound at the moment because I'm on uh, default settings. I haven't set anything up. Very nice balanced sound. The bass is there. The mids are there. The treble is also there. And the voice is actually very clear. Very, very clear. And I do love the sound stage. But we'll wait until the AirPods Pro to actually do a comparison of this with the AirPods Pro. Of course, I have to set this up as well. But now I'm actually in a rush. So actually just doing a very, very brief unboxing and also setup of the WF-1000 XM3. So I hope you guys like this video. And of course, I'll leave the link in the description as usual for this earbud so you can get it from the store which I purchased if you're in Malaysia. I'm not sure about US or other parts of the world, but in Malaysia, these are going for below 600 and I think it's a real bargain and definitely a product which you should get. Alright, so this concludes our video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.